you find it as life-changing as I did. Ever taken a bite out of your favorite food and thought, hmm, something tastes different? Well, here are 15 foods they don't want you to know have secretly changed. But what if that were to change? Twinkies. Dad, I'm the Twinkie. Twinkies have been a snack staple for years. However, the classic snack cake did experience a setback in the late 90s. The beloved snack cake was discontinued after Twinkies' parent company, Hostess, found the cakes to be less profitable than they had been in the past. However, Twinkies did make a comeback and were relaunched several months later. Unfortunately, many Twinkie lovers found the relaunched cakes were not only smaller and drier, but the cream filling, which is arguably the best part, did not taste as good as it had before. It's not the same. This was due to Hostess tweaking the recipe of the Twinkies to increase shelf life. While the Twinkie may indeed last longer on grocery store shelves, it doesn't matter as much if customers choose to bypass the product in search of a more desirable snack cake. Nutella I love Nutella! The popularity of Nutella has increased over the years, with many products from donuts to muffins now filled or topped with the chocolate hazelnut goodness. Unfortunately, the popular spread's recipe was tweaked in 2017. Yes, the recipe that had been a proven hit for many years was replaced with an updated version. This news, of course, was not well received by fans of the sweet spread who voiced their outrage. It's unclear how much the change in recipe affected the taste or the nutritional value of the beloved spread, but if history has taught us anything, it's this. If it ain't broke, don't fix it! McDonald's food items Whether you're a Big Mac fan or partial to McNuggets, fast food fans the world over can't seem to get enough of the golden arches. However, this hasn't stopped the famous burger chain from tweaking the recipes of a few of their menu items. McDonald's ice cream experienced a change in recipe, so to speak, when the chain stopped adding artificial ingredients to their vanilla soft serve a while back. McD's also felt that their classic McNuggets needed a bit of tweaking as well. The burger chain stopped using chickens raised with antibiotics for their McNuggets, which seemingly had no impact on their flavor. Unfortunately, the same can't be said after the franchise altered their fries. Why did you do that? The noticeable taste change in McDonald's iconic fries came due to a switch to using vegetable oil in place of beef tallow for the frying. It seems that experimentation can often be a double-edged sword. You get twice as much sword. Who would want a single-edged sword? Fanta. Who loves so and so? Perhaps not as popular as the big two, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, Fanta has more than held its own over the years. However, many fans of the soda have noticed that their beloved Fanta isn't what it used to be, especially when it comes to orange Fanta. The change in recipe came as a result of a sugar tax on soda in the UK. This tax forced Fanta to stop using sugar in the soft drink and switch to artificial sweeteners. This, of course, had a drastic effect on the soda's flavor, with fans complaining that the new Fanta had a bad aftertaste. Unfortunately for Fanta fans, the company has no plans on going back to the original recipe. Not going back. Cadbury Cream Eggs Remember when you were a kid and Easter would roll around? While chocolate bunnies were nice, the most anticipated treat were those deliciously sweet Cadbury cream eggs. Reflections of the good old days. Ah yes, filled with gooey, rich cream housed within a milk chocolate egg. Cadbury cream eggs were the crown jewel in every child's Easter basket. However, the beloved cream egg has seen a fair bit of tweaking over the years, resulting in a less than satisfying experience after sinking your teeth into one. The problem isn't with the gooey cream, which in fairness is the egg selling point, it's the chocolate. While many remember the chocolate being a rich, creamy milk chocolate, nowadays the sweet egg is made from a cheaper cocoa mix chocolate. Cadbury claims the change from milk chocolate to cocoa mix had nothing to do with cost cutting and was simply the best choice for the egg. It's the best choice of snack. This statement didn't stop fans from being outraged by the change, and the cocoa mix chocolate cream egg has since cost Cadbury millions of dollars. No word on whether the Cadbury bunny has been swapped out with a chihuahua in a bunny suit, because it's the best choice for their commercials. First time here? Well, we're the ultimate guilty pleasure, so hit that subscribe button and join the party. Now, more secrets. His secrets have secrets. Subway Bread 
Apart from the brand's claims of being a healthier fast food option, one of Subway's biggest selling points is its fresh baked bread. And really, who can resist the smell and taste of a freshly baked loaf? Likely none of us. Sound of the crust. Listen. However, if that bread loaf has more in common with the rubber sole of your shoe uh. than wheat and yeast, that bread isn't so appetizing anymore. Unfortunately for Subway bread fans, the bread contains a chemical called azodicarbinamide. This chemical is a dough conditioner that is perfectly safe. However, the problems lie with a chemical called urethane, a recognized carcinogen which is derived from azodicarbinamide. Fortunately, Subway has released statements letting its customers know that they would remove the chemical from their bread, with Subway already having somewhat of a tarnished reputation due to several factors. The last thing the sandwich brand needs is more controversy. Controversial, right? Coca-Cola. I'd like a Coca-Cola. The most iconic soft drink of all time, Coca-Cola is more than a drink, it's part of pop culture. However, it hasn't always been smooth sailing for the brand. Back in the mid-80s, Coca-Cola changed its signature recipe, resulting in the ill-fated new Coke. So, you preferred the original thing? From the start, the reception wasn't, let's say, the most positive with fans of the soda speaking out loudly. It didn't take long for the brand to reintroduce the original recipe, branding it Coca-Cola Classic, and all was normal in the world once again. The disastrous new Coke will always be remembered as Coca-Cola's biggest fumble. Marshmallows. Mmm, marshmallow. They're chewy, they're fun, they're delicious, they're marshmallows. From marshmallow fluff to s'mores, those squishy white cylinders are the best part of many beloved treats. But the marshmallows of today are a far cry from their ancient counterparts. For starters, marshmallows were reserved for nobility and were more of a syrup. The recipe was a little different, consisting of the sap from the marshmallow plant, honey, and nuts. Marshmallows wouldn't evolve into the modern version until the 1800s in France. Ironically, modern marshmallows have no trace of marshmallow root, as the root was substituted for gelatin back in the 1800s due to the laborious process of drying the confectionery's namesake root. Why so many wet marshmallows? Nestle chocolate. Chocolate. Sweet, rich, and delicious chocolate. In the case of Nestle chocolate, fans of their chocolate chips have noticed the taste is different and the chocolate doesn't melt the same way it used to. This is due to the company slightly tweaking the original recipe. Nestle stated that it swapped out artificial vanilla with real vanilla, but that the change shouldn't affect the flavor. Unfortunately, fans of the original product strongly disagreed. The chocolate controversy doesn't end there for Nestle, as the company has also come under fire for reducing the sugar in their Kit Kat bars in the UK, adding more cocoa and milk in place of excess sugar. Sugar! Need sugar! Apple pie. Do you not like apple pie? It's safe to assume that most pie lovers have sunk their teeth into a few slices of apple pie. With dollops of whipped cream, a scoop of ice cream, or simply enjoyed on its own. That's what she said! <laughs> it's seemingly impossible to improve on the iconic apple pie. However, the beloved pie has undergone drastic changes over the years, so much so that you wouldn't recognize an apple pie from about 800 years ago. Let's start off by making it known that the American classic isn't really American. In fact, the pie originated in Europe around the 1300s, and the pie usually contained apples, dates, prunes, and pears cooked with raisins, a cinnamon-like spice called flour of cannel, mace, cloves, sugar, and sandalwood. The pie was then baked in an inedible pastry case called a coffin, as inviting as that sounds. In medieval Europe, apple pies got a bit stranger with the inclusion of various meats such as fish and poultry, and again, an inedible crust. Suffice it to say, apple pie has come a long way. Pies are things that friends make together. Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. Wedding cake. Weddings are basically funerals with cake. Picking out the right wedding cake can be as daunting a task as planning the wedding itself. With many styles and flavors to choose from, a wedding cake can be as opulent or 
as understated as the future married couple wants it to be. However, wedding cakes were not always the eye-catching confectionery towers we know them to be today. Ancient Roman wedding cakes were sprinkled on top of the bride's head and were meant to ensure fertility. These cakes were usually broken pieces of small wheat cakes. Moving forward to the 18th century, we have something called the bride pie. This pie consisted of rooster combs, oysters, veal sweetbreads, the palate of oxen, and offal from lamb combined with other ingredients and then baked. Not exactly the decadently sweet matrimonial treat the bride and groom playfully shove into each other's mouths today, is it? Meatloaf Meatloaf? Meatloaf is a wholesome classic, but the famous dish started out a bit different from anything you're familiar with. Once again, we can take a trip back to ancient Rome and pull up a seat at the dinner table to sink our teeth into a meatloaf that consisted of the scraps from rabbits and other animals. These scraps were then mixed with nuts and eggs before being cooked inside pig intestines. Occasionally, the Romans would get a bit more creative with their meatloaf and add a dash of animal brains to the recipe because you have to treat yourself every now and then. It wasn't until around the late 1800s where meatloaf would start to resemble what we've come to know and love today. Luckily, the modern meatloaf isn't faithful to the original recipe. Meatloaf Salad while salads may not be the first dish you think of when picturing something mouthwatering, they can be quite tasty and, most importantly, are very nutritious. Highly nutritious. However, what we associate with a salad today has undergone various changes over the years. In fact, if you were a citizen of ancient Rome, your salad would have consisted of a combination of pickled or preserved vegetables soaked in vinegar, which is a little strange but isn't too dissimilar from the modern salad. However, the Roman bread salad was closer to a sandwich than a modern salad. The aforementioned bread salad consisted of vegetables, sweet meats, which were neither sweet nor meat, but organs, and cheese, which were layered between pieces of bread. Of course, it wouldn't be salad without being covered in dressing, in this case, white wine, penny royal, mint, coriander, raisins, and vinegar. White vinegar. Jelly candies. I like jelly. <laughs> Strawberry, grape, and all the other jellies out there are not only a mouthful of fruity fun, but they're also a delicious way to instantly take you back to the days of lunch at school with a PB and J sandwich. While most of us are familiar with the classics such as the aforementioned strawberry and grape, there are more exotic flavors out there like lemon and, oh yes, fish with animal blood. What? Don't remember that one? Well, that's because you're from this century and not living in medieval times. Because to anyone living in that era, savory jellies were the norm. Yes, both Europeans and the Japanese were used to a very different kind of jelly. In fact, these savory jellies were considered a delicacy among the wealthy of that era. It's considered a delicacy in some places. And would be placed on the dinner table alongside all the other medieval goodies. Though this form of jelly was also used to preserve meat and fish, for the most part, the savory jelly was eaten regularly. Much has changed in the world of jelly, as most jellies, jams, and preservatives are of the fruity sweet variety. However, it's not out of the realm of possibility to come across a savory jelly in modern times, such as onion. Watermelon What's with the watermelons? There's no mistaking a plump and juicy watermelon. That is, unless you happen to live in the 1600s. While watermelons might be bright red today, in the 1600s it hardly what? resembled what we know a watermelon to look like. We used to look like this! Watermelons had much more of a pale white on the inside than they do today. In fact, the fruit resembled a citrus fruit more than a melon, with the inside flesh almost segmenting like an orange. The old-school watermelon segments were also swirl-like, with its seeds packed in nicely within each of these segments. The change to the famous melon comes courtesy of humans domesticating the fruit. After humans' intervention, the watermelon began to slowly take on the appearance we're all familiar with today. So the next time you slice into that juicy watermelon and admire the beautiful red interior, just remember that Mother Nature isn't behind it, we are. We've got more! Just tap or click for another great video, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And hey, leave us a comment!